gentlemen, welcome to the premiere of Kosher Love. And this is this is Frederick Bobot, the executive producer of Kosher Love. Orchestra Set Severni. Orchestra Severni. You got it right. You got it right. And Jason Rosenblatt, he's the composer of the music in the film. To celebrate the music of Kosher Love, ladies and gentlemen, Jason Rosenblatt and Orchestra Severni. We'll be playing a few selections from uh, the music I composed for the film, as well as some uh, classic Moldovan standards. Thank you very much.
Uh, before we end our uh, short set, I'll take a moment to introduce the band members. We have Craig Peterson on the trumpet. David Sella on the saxophone. Rachel Lemish on the trombone. Julie Gould on tuba. Martin Madersbach on point. And I'm Jason Rosenblatt. Thank you all for coming up this evening. We're going to end with a song that I wrote for the uh, film. It's called Rosenblatt Kids Contra. It's uh, named after each of one of these sections are named for one of our children, Rachel and uh, my children. And uh, we start off with Halel, we continue with Betzalel, then the third section is Priel, and the last one is Anael. Thank you.
Orcus Casaverdi, Frank Peterson, David Sala, Rachel Lemus, Julie Bull, Martin Marischbach, and Jason Rosenblatt. Enjoy the evening. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Orca Servini. For those of you who know me, this event would not be complete without a group selfie. Let's see if we can get you all in here. Hold on a second. No, this is not working. The lights are too bright here. Can we? There's nothing we can do about this. There's too many of you and too few of me. Okay, hold on a second. This is going to work. No, this is not going to work. It looks like you guys are coming from the sky in the selfie. This is amazing. Okay, whatever. It's the best we can do. To continue the celebration, one of the main subjects of kosher love is a young man named Yonatan. Tonight, we're honored to have him here together with Diwan coming from Los Angeles. Give a round of applause for Yonatan! Bless up, 
Well, this song is about me a little, like, ten years back, let's just say, when a boy becomes a man. It's called Bar Mitzvah. It goes all like this. <laughs> Put everything together. He believed in me. 
And that's the reason why I'm here. He introduced me to this guy by the name of D1. I met him a few years ago, and till now, we've been working together, and this is finally the time where you guys can see me here to the next concert, the next concert. I, is anybody in this room gonna be at my next concert? Maybe we'll be at the Grammys this time around, because you know that's what's happening right now. I was like, this guy told me he was just at a Grammys party a few days ago or something like that. So, right now, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but here with Rabbi Burnett. Can I hear you guys applaud Rabbi Burnett? I was looking at the time not too long ago. I know I got some things I gotta do, but before we wrap it up, I'm gonna give you guys a little sample. Okay, Mom, I see she's looking at me, she's making this face. I won't just give a sample, I'll do the full song of the song that you guys are gonna hear in Kosher Love Film. You're hearing it here first. So, my homie, D1, drop it. Song is called The Free. Yonatan World, SoundCloud.com, Yonatan World. Yeah, man, sometimes I feel it up. It's like I'm feeling like I'm feeling it up. Yeah, no. don't know, I'm just trying to wonder. Sometimes, it is just like thunder. Can't understand, like I'm going under. Really scared, man. Prepare now. Sometimes I feel like I'm wearing. I don't know what to do when I'm like, sad. Can I feel that? Don't know.
Jonathan. We'd like to thank a few of the people who helped put together tonight's event. Firstly, the Multi-Faith and Spirituality Center at Concordia, led by the great Ellie Hummel. Of course, I'm Laura. <laughs> Jay Montreal, Chabad MDG, The Chabad Concordia Student Club, who not only uh, made sure that you guys got in efficiently and effectively, but also helped prepare and plan tonight's event. Thank you so much. And of course you. Thank you for coming out in the weather, the wonderful weather, the Montreal weather. Oh, now I can see you. Thanks for coming out. Um, so, if we could, can you turn the lights on just a little bit? Is that possible? Uh, we made this film in Montreal. There's a bunch of people who worked on the film who are here, so I would just want to get them to stand up very quickly. Um, there's Ashley Gilmore, who's the editor. Bill Stone, director of photography. Carl Freed, story consultant. <laughs> Frankie Fjord, the most of the sound. Yeah. Here's Kyle Stanfield, who is trying to avoid this. Kyle. Kyle? There he is. Kyle Stanfield is doing the sound as well. <laughs> Valerie Shamash, where are you? Val? Val? Oh, there she is. I'd be dead without Val in the last 10 years. Um, so, and lastly, the most important person is the director, to some degree. The most important, it's a collaborative thing, but it's his idea, and he put all the work into it. Evan Beloff. Evan. Evan's yeah. yeah. extremely, extremely tenacious. He tested me for two years to make this film, and he finally did it. Congratulations. Can you turn the lights again? <laughs> uh, I'm super nervous, I'm sorry, the piece of paper. I'm being a bit repetitive, but I will, um, thanks. I wanted to thank, uh, first of all, all of you for coming, this is extraordinary. Thanks so much for coming out tonight, you're doing this apocalypse, so it's much appreciated. Not under that, thanks for, um, for making this happen. Um, I'd like to thank Fred. You know, Fred is a, I consider Fred a close friend. And as the leader of the project, made it happen, so um, thanks so much. For your, for your professionalism and your, your ass-kicking ability. Um, Valerie, Valerie Shemash, Shem she's the line producer. I'm going to thank the same people again, I hope you don't want any to support me. So Valerie, I'm going to Thank you. Uh, Ashley Gilmore, who edited the film. Ashley, this is Ashley's... Ashley's, yeah, I can help, it's okay. This is Ashley's, uh, this is Ashley's first feature. She doesn't want me saying that, I don't think, but this is actually her first feature documentary, so she did a terrific job. Congratulations for the she is. Yeah. <laughs> to her right, Bill Stone. Bill, 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 did a, Bill did a brilliant job of uh, the camera work, just absolutely terrific, thank you. Um, Carl, Carl, Carl Freed, story editor. Helped Ashley and I. It was crazy deadlines for this movie. <sighs> Insane. So I'd like to thank uh, Carl wherever he is. Frankie. Thank you, James Sam. Thank you, Fury. And of course, Jason Rosenblatt, who did extraordinary uh, soundtrack. Also, uh, also under the gun, under the crazy deadlines like the rest of us. Um, I'd like to. What's happening? Yeah. Uh, Louis Darcy Dubois. 
Because we never met Louis, he just worked on a computer from afar, so he's, I'm sorry I forgot. Louis did all the animation. Oh, man. So you'll see if he did an amazing job. <laughs> sorry, so this is what happens when it's not cross check. That's super cool. Um, and lastly, I'd like to thank uh, the participants. Because without the participants, uh, this doesn't happen. So, uh, Robin Bernath, Robin and Sarah. Michael and Rimlea Gamlio, who I pestered for two and a half years, literally. Um, Judy, Yonatan, and uh, Jerry, thank you. And uh, CBC for, for saying yes. So hope you enjoyed the film. I think we're going to be answering questions afterwards, and you can berate me at that point with, uh, with your questions. Enjoy, thank you. Actually, I think it's a To um, compensate for her. 